Some countries have joined the Montreal Protocol only recently. They have to act faster to phase out ODS. One of them is Cambodia, a low volume user. In the Cambodian capital, we meet Pav Chow Hong. He is a technician with Hawaii Aircon. He has been trained to capture CFCs when he services refrigerators and air conditioners. <laughs> Hong has been trained in using a CFC extractor, a simple method that can go a long way in ensuring that ozone damaging gases don't escape during servicing. Cambodia does not produce any of these chemicals and only uses limited quantities imported from outside. After becoming a party to the Montreal Protocol in 2001, Cambodia started its phase-out activities in earnest. Much of Cambodia's ODS use is in two sectors, refrigeration and air conditioning. Phase-out efforts have therefore been focused on these. Cambodia has adopted a three-pronged strategy to phase out ODS. Firstly, it imposed a ban on all new products using CFC from entering the market. Secondly, technicians like Pav Chow Hong, engaged in servicing of refrigerators and air conditioners, are being trained. Finally, a new licensing system has been introduced for both importers and service shops. Cambodia's neighbours are Thailand and Vietnam, and all its CFC comes through the shared land borders. Customs will play a key role in monitoring their movement. Thus, training involves customs officers as well. These efforts are already producing results. The such story of ODS way out in Cambodia is the decrease of the CFCS consumption in Cambodia went down very far from 94 ton of CSCS to 20 ton. Parallel to such training, the Ministry of Environment is raising awareness among consumers and the public using radio, television, newspapers and magazines. The Ozone Office works with the country's growing number of radio and TV channels. These popular media outlets are used to get across simple ozone messages in the local language. Also in the cities, companies and institutions are invited for face-to-face -face meetings where issues and measures are discussed. Shopkeepers in the capital confirm how ordinary people are now responding. <laughs> Afghanistan, Bhutan and the Cook Islands are three other Asia-Pacific countries that have joined the Montreal Protocol recently. They too face similar challenges as Cambodia. In all these countries, choices made by consumers and people like Pav Chow Hong will determine how soon they can phase out the remaining ODS. Mm -hmm.